According to various local news outlets, Egypt's Prime Minister, Mustafa Madbouli, has approved the creation of a five-year visa which would allow tourists to stay up to 90 days per visit. The visa would be available through the Electronic Visa Portal, a current project by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, or through Egyptian consulates abroad. The decision is a result of a ministerial meeting attended by the Ministers of Environment, Civil Aviation, Finance, Minister of Tourism and Antiquities as well as other governmental officials. Priority for this specific visa issuance, which is aimed at facilitating visits to tourists who regularly visit Egypt, would go to visa holders from the United States, the United Kingdom, and those with Schengen visas. In April 2014, Egypt increased its visa fees from 15 United States dollars to 25 United States dollars, 380 le. For multiple visas, the cost is set at 60 United States dollars, 936 le. Egyptian authorities have been focusing on increasing incentives for tourists to visit the country and its key attractions. Months ago, the Sphinx International Airport started its operations. The Sphinx Airport project was inaugurated in 2016. It is the country's 33rd airport. Its location is very close to Egypt's Giza pyramids making it more accessible to tourists, namely those aiming to make short touristic visits to Cairo in order to visit the Giza Plateau, as well as the soon-to-inaugurate Grand Egyptian Museum. It is also closer to those living in the 6th of October, and Haram as well as other places in the Giza Governorate.